ain't fair, it ain't fair at all Hey guys and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hello my name is Asia. I know a lot of you are new because you're transferring over from my TikTok, so welcome. This is going to be a full in-depth BCS video from the video that I posted on my TikTok explaining how I create my TikTok and frills. Keep in mind you do need a tripod when creating these videos and when I do my videos, I, I create my videos for 0.1 seconds or 0.5 seconds. Whatever is your preference, it doesn't matter but that's how so I like to do So the tripod that I do use for my content is you breeze i get that from amazon so you could get the 51 inch 61 inch 67 inch whatever is your preference i like the taller one because i like to use a tripod when i'm taking my photos as well for my content and it comes with a remote so it makes things so much easier it's easy for you to tilt the camera it's easy for you to zoom in and out to get different type of angles different shots that's how you keep your audience more engaged when you have fast speeding your videos slow speeding your videos zooming in and out they love to see it that's what you want to do it just makes everything looks good it makes everything looks clean and clear now that we are finished creating our clips we're going to head over to iMovie you could get iMovie in your apple store or your android store whatever phone that you have iMovie is on there i believe it should be <laughs> some people use slice some people use video leap it depends on what you like to use i like to use iMovie for my preference because it's so much easier i use iMovie when i'm creating my reels as well as my youtube videos i edit on this and i have no problem at all when i'm creating this so what i'm going to do is break up my videos and what i mean break up my videos i mean split the video so you're going to see the scissor button at the bottom you're going to click on that and i'm also going to mute the sound because i'm doing a voiceover and you can mute sounds if you want to have it for any other videos youtube videos you can mute the sound put music in the background you can do that super easy so that's all i'm doing i'm just splitting it up using the scissors again use the scissors split it up now you see that line that's there i use none so when you want to split up your videos you want to leave that as a straight line use it as none don't use theme don't use the focus don't use the vault don't use none of that because it's going to make your video look choppy you want a clean sleek transition when you create these videos so that's what i like to use now i know a lot of you was asking me why don't i use horizontal when i'm creating these videos I don't like to do that only because this is for Reels or TikTok as well. I use horizontal access when I'm using it for YouTube. But obviously this video is vertical only because this was for TikTok. And I just wanted to be more clear and more in depth for you guys. So this is why I did that. So this is just a preview of the video. I wanted to run through it first if I liked it or not. If I wanted to add more stuff to it. If I wanted to cut it up a little more. Then that's what I would do. But this is just a preview. And also when you want to zoom out or zoom in into the video to make it fit the screen. All you got to do is hold on to the video itself and just zoom out. So now we're going to go over to TikTok and we're going to find the music that we want to use for our videos. What I like to do is find the original sound, save it to my favorites, hold down on the screen and click save. Go to the plus sign that you see at the top of the screen and then go to the video that I save. I click on the three dots and I press audio only and that's what's going to bring up the music for the video. And then this is how the video actually looked that's on my TikTok right now. Y'all made this video blow up and go crazy. I I was not expecting that but i truly appreciate all the love the support because i am so here to help you guys i am not one that gatekeep gatekeep is so corny it's whack to me so yeah if i'm gonna be an influencer and show y'all the real tea i'm gonna show y'all the real tea so now let's jump into the camera roll and go to my camera settings and how i like my camera and how i get 4k how i make my videos look crispy clear so this is my camera setting screenshot it screenshot it up girl screenshot it because we need our videos to look crispy clear we need our contents to look nice and fabulous you don't always need to use a professional camera when creating your short videos you don't need to do that get an iphone pro or iphone in general as long as they have that you're good to go and this is how it looks on the camera itself like crispy clear content 4k quality like ugh, it gets no better than that Right, guys, so this is part two of how to create content for TikTok and Reels. So what I do is click on the square button that's right there and I crop it. So this is how my video is going to look 
vertical instead of horizontal horizontal we want that if you could like to create content for youtube that's what you want horizontal for vertical we want it to be the right size frame for tiktok or reels and what i mean by creating the videos in imovie that way you can transform the same video that you are recreated and put it on reels as well that's how you cross promote your content it's easier that way okay so this video we want it to be for 60 seconds and not three or 15 so that's how you do that a box will pop up but you can just click off of that so this is how i get my font for my videos i was wondering what font i use i just use the regular font that's on tiktok i scroll all the way to the last one and what i do is just make it really small however you want it to be small that's what i do and then i click on underscore and i turn it around and make that vertical so that's how i get the line on my screen and i just repeat the same steps with my text i just choose and play around if i want it to be vertical or horizontal and i just leave it on the screen and I just make it really tiny and you just play around your placement you can even set it to be where you want it to be you don't have to have it throughout your whole video i choose to have it throughout my whole video that way everyone will know the concept of the video you don't have to do that i just like to do that but just make your um your font really tiny so it can look so clean and sleek now me personally you can use different fonts you can use canva for your fonts you can use whatever app that has fonts i just like to use tiktok it's simple you can also use mojo mojo app is really good so once you have all your wording how you want it to look color make it look clean neat and sleek we're going to go over and going to click next once you click next click on more options and make sure it's turned on to hd that way your content quality it won't reduce okay so once you finish with all of that just click on it and see which part of the video you want as your cover photo